Ken, you want to get that back door? Well, I mentioned to the uh, the new uh, astronaut candidates that Dr. Kraft would be coming over today to talk to you. So he's uh, he's here to say a few words to you as well as uh, to the older group. And so without any further ado, I'll turn it over to Dr. Kraft. Uh, apologize for the cameras and the lights. But according, according to my G2, your G2 already knows why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, and I understand your G2 is in the form of um, those that go to the gymnasium. <laughs> Sam, now, those of you that don't go to the gym, I guess have missed out on that. And I apologize for that. Uh, I forgot. Did you get the letter from Crunch? I probably forgot to bring it. Uh, I meant to no, bring the letter from Doctor Crunch. Does anybody got a copy of that? I wanted to read. <laughs> At any rate, uh, several weeks ago, uh, I asked George uh, to give me a review of uh, what the new uh, astronauts have been doing, what your uh, training programs have been, what the results of those have been. And uh, we were convinced, and I personally was convinced that uh, you guys have been doing superbly, that we didn't have any problems with anybody that we could come up with, and that uh, there's really no reason why we shouldn't uh, make you all astronauts, because I knew that was probably bugging some of you, because I don't blame you. Uh, so we recommended to uh, Dr. Faraj in a letter, and I talked to him personally when I was up there, that we do this, and uh, he wrote a great letter back, and if you haven't seen it, if your G2 wasn't good enough to get that letter, uh, he, he uh, was very pleased that that, that had taken place and he said so briefly in the letter. And that's, that's, a, that's the part that I want to read to you, and I'll make sure you all get a copy of that. Uh, make a few notes, which is unusual for me. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the basis for going the way we did in the first place in terms, in terms of naming people candidates. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm personally uh, responsible mostly for that being the case that we appoint candidates rather than uh, actual astronauts. It's been my experience, and our, at least the experience that I've had in the selection of astronauts, and I was involved in all of them except the first seven. Uh, that it's extremely difficult to determine uh, from the kinds of things that we do in looking at their past performances and records and the personal dealings with people and so forth that even then it's difficult for us to determine whether you really are going to be good astronauts. Uh, a good astronaut is a very difficult thing to evaluate. And I'm, I'm sure that uh, if you were asked to do so, uh, we probably would have difficulty in writing that down. But I think it does have a lot a lot to do with people's personalities and how they get along with other people, as well as your capabilities to do the job. And I think we know reasonably well when you come on board uh, that you can do the job or we wouldn't have had you here. We can, we can tell that. But you know, your ability to work in our environment, uh, because it is, it's different, it's sometimes difficult, it's sometimes it's a little crazy, and uh, some people have, in the past, had difficulty in dealing with that. And so that, it was our idea to uh, have you named as candidates. I think, frankly, that we will probably continue to do that. But I, I think it, uh, it maybe puts a little pressure on you to, uh, to perform even better, and that's to your benefit and ours as well. So I think we'll do that. I think that. Uh, I'd like to say that I was extremely pleased with uh, the work that all of you have done, uh, not only in, uh, in your classwork and uh, in learning to fly, your, your adaptiveness to, to flying and so forth, but uh, also to the to uh, the uh, other jobs that we cause you to do as a result of being popular people in the country. 
of your ability to handle the public affairs problems and situations that we find ourselves in, I think, has been outstanding. Uh, I have had nothing but uh, good response from any place I've ever been that you've been. Uh, that uh, all the letters we get in response to uh, where you've uh, spoken or where you've represented that and I want you to know that we're extremely pleased with the way you handle that situation too. So I, it's a real pleasure to uh, tell you that you all are astronauts. It was a real pleasure for me to not have any problem in doing that. Uh, I believe that, uh, that it showed that we did do a good job in selecting the people and I hope we can continue to do that. Well, and that was the reason for Mr. Stahl insisting that uh, we have some cameras here today, and uh, I think we've had enough of them. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs>